Hi, this is Kurt from Kurt's Yurt. And a lot of people have been interested in what the condition of the road is on the way up to the yurt. I'm right now at the Levick Mill that you can see over on the right. It's about two miles away from the yurt. The road up to this point is just a gravel dirt road that's been graded. On the way up past this point though, it gets a little rough, so I thought I'd give you an idea of what you uh, might be encountering on your way up to the yurt. So here we go. There's a couple inclines. There's this is the first one. that hops up from Levick Mill. Over on the right hand side you can see the ridge line that goes up to Mount Sherman. So yeah, the, the idea here is just go slow and steady. Path of least resistance is a good thing. Sometimes that's on the other side of the road. Flattens out a little bit here. A passenger car can make it up here without any problem. Just go slow and easy. From experience, I know that the left-hand side of the road is a little smoother than the right one, so I'm going to go over here. Over on my right, or on my left, excuse me, is the Four Mile Creek that you follow all the way up. <clears throat> it's a cascading series of beaver ponds. That's just amazing. Probably one of the largest beaver populations in the state. Great for fly fishing, too. Don't recommend straddling any big rocks. Just go around them. this rise here. This is the Mount Sherman Basin. Over on the right is Mount Sherman. Over on the left, which you can't see, is uh, Horseshoe Mountain. Trailhead for Mount Sherman is right up this road. But we're going to take a left-hand turn onto Forest Road 603 to get to the earth that's marked in your directions. See how green and beautiful it is up here. It's amazing. Here is a fork in the road. We're going to take this next left here and switch back up the hill.
And then we'll take this last left onto Silver Horseshoe Lane, where the year it is. Over here on the left, you'll see my sign and the tree. Just head down this a little bit. And when you park at the air, park over here on the left. Uh, make sure and stay away from the gray gate there. That's my neighbor, and he doesn't like it when we block it. So there's my sign. You're going to go down that path about 10 yards and then veer left a little bit, and the yurt is right down the hill. I hope you come and enjoy the yurt. It's an awesome thing to see. Talk to you soon.